Hello everyone. In this video, we'll discuss about pointer with array and pointer with functions. Pointers are the variables which contain the addresses of some other variables. And with array, a pointer stores the starting address of the array. Array name itself acts as a pointer to the first element of the array. And also, if a pointer variable stores the base address of an array, then we can manipulate all the array elements using the pointer variable only. Pointers can be associated with the multidimensional array as well. We can create an array of pointer to store multiple addresses of different variables. When an array is declared, compiler allocates sufficient amount of memory to contain all the elements of the array. For example, we have an array A double R, and int is a data type, and 5 is the size of the array. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are the elements of this array. Assuming that the base address of A double R is 1000, and each integer requires 2 bytes. The five elements will be stored as a double r of 0, a double r of 1, a double r of 2, a double r of 3, and a double r of 4. In this case, a double r will give the base address, which is a constant pointer pointing to the first element of the array, that is a double r of 0. A double R contain the address of A double R of 0, that is 1000. By default, A double R is equal to percent A double R of 0. We can also declare a pointer of type int to point to the array A double R. Int star p, p is a pointer of integer type, p is equal to A double R. Or we can write p is equal to m percent a double r of 0. Both these statements are equal. p is a pointer that points to the first array element. Now we can assess every element of the array a double r using p plus plus to move from one element to the another. There is one important note. You cannot decrement a pointer once increment, that is, p minus minus would not work. Pointer to array. We can use a pointer to point to an array, and then we can use that pointer to assess array elements. First of all, inside the main function, we have declared one variable i. i is a variable for loop. e is the name of the array, 5 is the size of the array, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are the elements of array A. And P is a pointer which is of integer type. Int star P is equal to A or int star P is equal to m percent A of 0. Both the statements are same. It means P is a pointer that points to array A. Then apply for loop for i is equal to 0, i less than 5, i plus plus. Then inside the body of for loop, star p will print all the values stored in the array one by one. We can also use the base address to act as a pointer and print all the values. p plus plus means pointer points to the next element in the array. The generalized form for using pointer with array star a plus i is same as a of i. If you write printer percentage d a of i, it will print the array by incrementing index. And if you write i of a, this will print element of the array. And if we write a plus i, this will print the address of all the array elements. And if you write star a plus i, it will print value of array element and star a will print the value of a of 0 only. 
and if you write a plus plus then compile time error is there we cannot change the base address of an array next is a pointer to multi-dimensional array multi-dimensional array are 2d array and 3d array in two-dimensional array data is stored in the form of rows and columns a is the name of the array and i is a row index and j is a column index as we know name of the array gives its base address in a of i j a will give the base address of this array even a plus 0 plus 0 will also give the base address that is the address of a of 0 0 element 0 is a row index and second 0 is a column index. The generalized form for using pointer with multidimensional arrays star star a plus i plus j which is same as a of i j. i is a row index and j is a column index. Next is pointer and string. Pointer is used to create strings. Pointer variables of character type are treated as string. For example, char star str is equal to hello. Now this code create a string and store its address in the pointer variable str. The pointer str now points to the first character of the string hello. The string created using cat pointer can be assigned a value at runtime. We can also write cat star str. str is a pointer and str is equal to hello. The content of string can be printed using printf function and puts function like printf percentage s str or we can use puts function to display the content of the string. Array of pointer, we can also have array of pointers. Pointer are very helpful in handling character arrays with rows of varying length. For example, care star name of three is equal to Adam, Chris, and Denial. Now let's see the same array without using pointer. Care name three is a row size, name is the name of the array, and 20 is the size of the array. And Adam, Teresa, or Denier. Using pointer, only three locations for pointers, which will point to the first character of their respective string. Without using pointer, it will extend till 20 memory location. 20 is the column size, and 3 is the row size. Pointers are very helpful in handling character arrays and rows of very length. In first approach, wastage of memory is less, but in second approach, memory wastage is more. Hence, it is preferred to use pointer in such cases. Next is pointer with the functions. Pointer as a function parameter is used to hold addresses of arguments passed during function call. This is also known as call by reference. When a function is called by reference, any changes made to the reference variable will affect to the original variable. For example, inside the main function, we have a pointer p. p is a pointer which is of integer type and i is the normal variable value 10 is assigned to it. p is a pointer that holds the address of i. Then call the function add1. add1 is the name of the function p is the actual argument. 
when this function call control transfer to the function definition the value of p is copied into ptr and ptr is a pointer which is of integer type and star ptr plus plus adding 1 to ptr the value of ptr is 10 and after adding 1 to star ptr the result is 11 in this case pointer p holds the address of i when a function is called by reference any changes made to the reference variable will affect the original variable that's why output is 11 next is function returning a pointer a function can also return a pointer to the calling function in this case you must be careful because local variables of function does not live outside the function they will have scope only inside the function so if you return a pointer connected to a local variable so that pointer will be pointing to the nothing when a function ends like normal variable a function can also return reference or address when function return reference or address the return type of function must be a point return type function name star is a pointer then argument list then body of the function this is a syntax for function returning point now inside the main function a is a variable of integer type and p is a point with printer function display the value of a and address of a after that ptr is a pointer and reference is the name of the function and a is an actual argument when this function call control transfer to the definition of the function and function return type is int now in this case function returning int is a int is a return type function star reference function returning pointer and n is a formal argument the value 10 is copied into n then return ampersand n address of n return back to the main function the value of a is 10 and address of a is 6487536 let's see the another example for function returning pointer first of all declare a function int is the return type and star is the pointer larger is the name of the function and function having two arguments which is of integer type then inside the main function declare two variables of integer type value 12 is assigned to a variable a and value 25 is assigned to a integer variable b int star p p is a pointer which is of integer type now p is equal to larger larger is the name of the function ampersand a comma ampersand b this is a calling function when this function call address of a and b is passed to the function definition with the printer function display the message percentage d is larger and percentage d gives the value of star p then define the function how to define the function return type of the function pointer operator name of the function then formal argument int x 
int star x comma int star y then inside the definition of then inside the body of larger function compare value of x and y if star x is greater than star y if this condition is true then this function return if this condition is evaluated to be true then this function return x if this condition is evaluated to be false then this function return y After the execution of this code, the output is 25 is larger. A function can return a pointer to the calling function. In this case, you must be careful because local variables of function does not live outside the function. They have scope only inside the function. If you return a pointer connected to a local variable, then pointer will be pointing to nothing when the function ends. If the value of x is greater than value of y, then return address of x otherwise return address of y and display the value at given address this is a code to find largest among two numbers with the help of function returning pointer this is all about array with pointers and function with pointers